Hey, I'm Louis Palmer, and welcome to PlayBetterDrums.com, and welcome to part two of this backwards tom roll idea we've been looking at. So Vinnie Colaiuta was the first guy that inspired me to do something like this. I would often see him play, play phrases where he was rolling back up the toms rather than down, the usual descending right hand um, thing that most drummers do. And so over the years, I put together a few vocab things along the same lines of, of doing it backwards, essentially, and rolling back up the toms. So in part one, we looked at a sticking, uh, or a couple of stickings, uh, but in 16th note triplets. And now we're gonna look at it in 32nd notes. And it, the reason for that is, is that it's important to have uh, the ability to play certain ideas or fills, but in different note rates. Because if we can only play it in one note rate, like 16th note triplets from part one, that means we're limited to a certain tempo area. So, uh, the tempo that we played last lesson for the 16th note triplets was around this. You could of course go a little slower or definitely a little quicker. But if we were to slow right down and play a slower groove, the triplets aren't gonna sound right. Of course you can play it, but it doesn't sound like a roll and it doesn't have the same effect. So if we were at that slower tempo, um, 30 second notes is a good one to do. So on the PDF, uh, there are four examples, uh, two one bar fills and two two beat fills. Uh, all utilizing a very similar, if not the same, beginning part that we did last lesson, where you play three notes on your first floor tom, or the drum you're starting on on this side of the kit, and that swaps us to a left hand lead, and then we can go back up the toms, left, right, left, right. So the first example, up to speed, sounds like this. So uh, we're doing that roll back up the toms and then we're just doing some snare drum vocab to finish the bar. Uh, so I'll slow it right down. So what I should say is that after this uh, roll section on the toms, that right hand on this last rack tom starts a paradiddle diddle. Then we play another two power diddle diddles with an accent on the first note, but as a rim shot on the snare drum. And then we have that last, those last three notes. So think of it as the roll and then three power diddle diddles. So that's the first one to get together. The second one uh, is very similar, but we just do the roll twice. And it's linked by that phrase from the first rack tom and the snare drum, the paradiddle diddle between those two. So you play the roll, that first paradiddle diddle, and then the roll again. And you could practice that phrase over and over to really get this uh, idea of going back up the toms with this snare drum sticking to get that really nice and smooth.
And in both of those examples, uh, the end bit, that is what's written, um, but you could place that anywhere or change it. It's just something to fill the last portion of the bar. Um, so some ideas. So you can experiment with that. The next two examples are just two beat fills. So we still have the same roll idea, uh, it's just shorter, so we're only filling for two beats. We play the roll up the toms, the paradiddle diddle still, first note on the tom, rest on the snare drum. And then two sixteenth notes, right left. So it's just an example of how you can use the roll, the same sticking, same idea, but in a much shorter fill idea. And then the last one is the same kind of thing, but we're shifting the fill over. We're starting it two 30 second notes later. So up to speed, it sounds like this. So no sixteenths in this one, it's 30 second notes all, to the, all the way to the end. So we have the roll up the toms, the paradiddle diddle, and then two notes right left, but they're still 30 second notes. And we can choose to accent them or unaccent them. So two versions. So you could mess around with each one. So now we have uh, two one bar fill ideas and two two beat fill ideas. So you've got a bunch of different ways to throw that roll up the toms in as 30 second notes. So now we have not only other fill ideas, but we have other note rate options. So now if you're at different tempos, you have the, 30, uh, the 30 second note idea and the 16th note triple idea. So now I'll put together, like we do with every lesson, all put these exercises together. So once you're practicing them uh, separately and you've got them down and you feel comfortable, if obviously you can do them much slower than I'm demonstrating the up to speed examples, they don't have to be that fast, but then start mixing them up under the framework of groove, fill, groove, fill, whether it's the two beat one or the one bar one, uh, and mix them up, for example. <laughs> 